to take a look at a really easy song to play. This is, of course, the band, Robbie Robertson's tune, Up on Cripple Creek. Uh, came out on their second album, just called The Band, following, of course, music from Big Pink. And um, and turned out to be one of their most popular tunes, um, just because it got a little bit of radio play. And uh, so most people know this tune, if you know anything by the band. Now, I've done some few other lessons, of course, here of theirs. The Wait, uh, Night They Drove Old Dixie Down, Stage Fright. No, did I get to Stage Fright? Not yet. No, I'm thinking about it, though. Anyway, um, it's really just a, a simple, basic strumming song. We're not going to go into an instrumental like I just tried to play there, but we are going to mess around with the little clavinet part that Garth Hudson put together. And this is really interesting because it was probably the first time anybody used a clavinet, especially with a wah-wah pedal, to get that particular sound. It sounds like a like a Jews harp, just wanna, 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 you know. Um, the note is just a G, and all I was doing there was sliding up to a G on the fourth string and hitting the G on the hitting the open G at the same time, and kind of and kind of drifting away from it, playing a couple other notes and landing back on an A chord. Now the song it really only features it, we only need four chords, five chords. Sorry, one of them's not in the key of A. So we are going to use the three major chords in A, which of course are A, D, and E, one, four, and five, and chord six, F sharp minor. And we'll talk about, no, I'll talk about all the chords right now because they're really easy to play. Hopefully you know an A chord. Um, play, played with the, all the notes at the second fret, and if you have not seen any of my video lessons before, the fingering I really like people to use for an A chord is first finger on the third string, second finger on the fourth string and third finger on the second string so that it lets you get all your fingers a little closer to the frets than uh, it does if you try to go with all three in a row or if you use one finger the hinge bar which can work but usually people kill the first string or worse bar it and get an F sharp in there don't want to do that um, and for songs in the key of A when we're using A, D, and E this also really facilitates the change to D because your first finger is in the right place but you gotta move it a little closer to the fret when you go to the D chord. Whoa. So, and then you move it back a little bit when you're coming back to the A. Then when you're going to E, you just slide it back to the first fret. So when you're running through A, D, and E in the key of A, keep your first finger on the third string and only change frets when you're going to an E chord, but slightly change the position when you're going from A to D. It also uses F sharp minor, which is of course a full bar at the second fret, shaped like E minor. And then a chord out of the key, we'll talk about, which is a G chord. We'll talk a little bit more about the theory involved and the type of scale that this is coming out of, because we do hear this little opening, which goes from D to E to G. Of course, the note G is not even in an A scale. So we're using a slightly altered scale that gives it a little bit of a bluesy tune, because we're playing a flat at seventh. Okay. I'll get into all of that. We'll just talk about the progression. A couple of different sections in the song. Um, so interesting lyric problems that I'll talk about as we get a little further in there. In that the way Levon Helm uh, sang it on, in the studio is not the way he, he fixed some of the words every time he did it live. So he crossed up some lyrics in the studio. They weren't real happy with the studio recording. It took them a long time to get it to where they liked it. And so uh, one of the obstacles was deciding to add harmony and, and other parts, particularly in the chorus, when everybody comes in and sings up on Cripple Creek, which you can see in some of the live versions. But, okay, enough uh, rambling. Let's get on to playing the tune, Up on Cripple Creek. <laughs> 